All right. So I have, uh, I'm back. And uh, as I noted before, I actually have a red microphone. And it's a real microphone this time instead of that booty ghetto stuff. Um, I'm here with Thello and Jessa. Done. They are the uh, the co putter honors of this Roar uh, Nationals here at uh, Steel City. So I just came over. They're chilling in this tent. They have a little mister system set up. It's about 10 degrees cooler underneath this tent than it is uh, out in the bacon surface of the sun that we like to call, you know, the ghetto section over on the other side. They, they're, in, they're in high society over here. So, um, so Justin, tell us about the week so far. How have things been going? It's been amazing. I mean, being here with the Good Wines, it, it's just, it's a remarkable. It's an amazing facility. We're just super happy to be here. Everything's been going like better. Everyone's having a great time. Personalities are coming out. Everyone's giggling, having a ball. It's been great. Awesome. That's good to hear. And how's your race program been going, Thelo? Better than last time? No, Worse. <laughs> Worse than last time. All right. This is uh, my second motor in two days, and it, it's hurt. So uh, we've hurt a couple motors, and, um, you know, this heat is it's tough, you know. So uh, we'll see what happens this next run, you know. Well, well tell us a little bit. Of, so um, in case you guys don't know, Thelo and Jess are the proprietors of Speed World, and they also have a track. Uh, associated with that facility up in Northern California, Central California, Northern California, Northern California. So tell us how COVID is affecting racer turnout and, and, you know, maybe talk to us a little bit about racing during COVID. Well, I mean, last year, obviously it was terrible, you know, uh, you know, it, it, you know, we're all wearing masks, but of course a lot of people, you know, still scared, scared to come out, you know, even once they, you know, opened everything back up, uh, you know, and it was, so it was just tough, man. We just did what we had to do to get through the season. And, uh, you know, once the season ended, we, you know, we're still kind of worried about this year. But honestly, um, all of the big races that we've had this year uh, that we've been throwing for the past four years have been bigger than they ever have been. So that was kind of a trip, unexpected. Um, and, uh, uh, nah, not really, not really. Everybody's, a lot of people are just happy to be back out and moving around and, you know, and racing again. You see how packed it is out here, man, like. Right, exactly, and that's I think that's the biggest nationals we've we've had in Nitro for a very very long time. So uh, yeah, it's 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 going well, man. You know, COVID you know did its thing, man. But you know we're all human beings, and you know especially us racers, man. We're gonna fight through it. You know. All right, so um, you know how has how, is, how is Mama been taking care of the track? Uh, have you been you know seeing kind of the regulars come out, and has all the racers been supporting you up in Northern California? I mean, not only have they been supportive, they've stepped up. Um, you know, when we first originally shut down, all of our amazing members stepped up, and they kept paying their dues, even though the track was completely shut down. So, you know, shout out to all my amazing Speed World guys. We love you and appreciate that. And But, yeah, I mean, COVID was hard. It's been hard. And with the new variant coming out, you know, the concern, luckily we're in an area where it's kind of small. So we're in Placer County, which the numbers up there are pretty good. So, you know, we just keep our precautions going and stay safe, distance and mask on the driver's stand and all that fun stuff. Well, thank you, guys. Um, I'm looking forward to the barbecue tomorrow. Tello's going to be on the grill and Jess is going to be helping out. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. We're going to have a whole segment on cooking. Uh, we got a lot of barbecuers out there in YouTube land, so we go. You you gonna have a look? You gonna have a little bit of inspection on what you're doing behind the grill, bro? You know. But I've watched some of your, your uh, some of the pictures and things like that. You got a big grill that uh, that you pulled behind, so you know what you're doing around the grill. So, all right. So we'll come check you out tomorrow. Take it easy. <laughs>